What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are talking about my three main setups that I use for surf fishing, whether it's on the actual surf uh, from jetties or in the bay. But uh, these are my three main surf fishing rods. We're gonna talk about them, I'm gonna show you the action and what I use them for. Let's go. All right, so let's get the big boy out of here first. This is my uh, newest member of my arsenal. This is a 10.6 medium heavy Tsunami uh, Saltex rod. It's, uh, it's a beast. It, it really is a beast. It's, it's pretty beefy. I can throw heavy duty lures, big poppers, uh, big bucktails, whatever, whatever I want on this big, big rod. I'll show you the action to it. It's a little bit different than, actually it's a lot different than these two compared to, uh, to this, but I'll show you that. Uh, it's, it's more like tip action and a really sturdy backbone. So like fishing Montauk or from the rocks or, or fishing the jetty, it's a lot easier to fish with this in my opinion than something that's uh, a little bit more flimsy and you can't really pull up fish. But it, I mean, in my personal opinion, that's what this, this video is all my personal opinion. From my experience, um, this, that's that's what this is. This is a great rod. Uh, it's probably a better rod for catching bigger fish than it is catching your average size fish or smaller fish. So, if you're going out for a good time, just to catch small fish or with the potential of catching more small fish than bigger fish, I wouldn't use this rod. But if you're going out for a heavy duty fish, big stripers, big blue fish, whatever, I recommend this. Uh, it's a 70 30 so basically all the guys are on that top 70 part and you got your butt right here in 30 it does have a longer butt so this is where the rod seat is right here in my hand that's like <laughs> that's a three foot butt so you're you're going to be able to cast way farther with this as opposed to a, a butt like this so you get more momentum going that, that way with the big butt um, it does get in the way a little bit like when you're when you're holding the rod like this surf fishing, it's kind of like bumping against rocks if you're walking in rocks or whatnot. So just keep that in mind. Either way, good action, big fish, 70-30. I do recommend it. I'll put the price points in the corner too for, for each of these rods. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but it's a good, uh, it's a good rod. That's like that I one. said inside the description video, this is the 10-6 medium, what is it again? Medium heavy action. And this is a lot of tip action. You know, like if you're gonna get something that's five pounds or smaller, you're gonna get a lot of tip. But let's see, dead weight, five pounds, pulling straight up, 10 six. That butt is a really long butt. <laughs> Way down there, but if you get something dead weight. Five pounds, you're seeing that action just get into that middle section and that backbone. But you're pulling up a 30 or 40 pound fish on this out of Montauk on the rocks, you're gonna do pretty good. But that's dead weight, let's say three and a half, four feet away from the reel, straight up. None of these rods are breaking yet, which is good. But again, this is the 70 30, 30 pound braid, Salt X 4000. The action looks next. Like. This is my pen prevail. This is a medium, moderate, fast action, nine foot pen prevail. Uh, compared to the Saltex, the reel seat's a little bit higher on the Saltex compared to the pen prevail. This, in my opinion, uh, getting stuck everywhere. This, in my opinion, is one of the best rods you can get for the price point. I think I got it for 80 bucks. Uh, it's managed to catch me literally thousands of fish, the fall run, triple headers, double headers, striped bass, teaser rigs. That's what this, this rod has done for me. And this is my main rod now. You know, I got this 10-6 Saltex, that's for the bigger fish. But even if you catch like eight pound blues or 30 inch stripers, this bad boy will get the job done, whether it's from a jetty or from the surf, you're still casting pretty far with a nine footer and um, <clears throat> hey, it works. So I mainly use this rod for the jetty and also for my surf fishing. 
when I'm not going after the big mamas throwing huge poppers and everything with my salt eggs. So this is basically my all around go to. Uh, you can fish it in the bay, it's not too big for a bay rod, but if you go for my third rod over here, that's my favorite bay rod. But let's finish talking about this. Um, again, I'll show you the, the action on this. Um, I have 30 pound Power Pro on this rod. It's a 50-50, so it splits down the middle. Uh, four, five guides on the top. Got that main guide down here on the bottom. And then the real seats here. It's not that bad. It's not big, it's not too small. It works pretty well. Get a good cast out of it too. I currently have my Saltex 4000 on here. Uh, depending on which rod I'm gonna use or what I'm targeting, I will either have my Saltex on this rod, my nine footer or my 10-6 um, Saltex rod. Either or, this will be the backup for that or that'll be the backup for this, depending on what fish I'm targeting and what I'm expecting to catch. But uh, Saltex 4000 with 30 pound braid and normally I have either a 60 or 80 pound leader tied up to here and it still casts pretty well. But I'll show you the action to this after I talk about my third rod. All right, this third rod is an eight foot medium heavy Tsunami Trophy 2. This rod, in my opinion, is one of my favorite bay rods. Uh, if I'm fishing the bay, I'm most likely throwing this eight footer Trophy 2 medium heavy. Uh, it's not huge at all. It's super lightweight, it's a 70-30, so it splits right here. Really small butt, so you get in a good cast out of here. Um, it's nothing huge and huge and heavy duty like that salt X rod, but you get a good cast out of here. I got a Pen Conflict 2, 4,000 on here with 30 pound braid, and either a 60 or 80 pound mono leader. Um, it's, it's actually a really durable rod. I haven't broken this, surprisingly. Um, I break a lot of things. <laughs> I break a lot of gear, a lot of expensive gear, but this has pulled in 15 pound bluefish, 12 pound bluefish, 10 pound bluefish, multiple of them and the action is fantastic. A lot of my videos you'll see, if you see this black rod, it's the trophy tube that I have in my hand. And uh, as, as long, as well as the uh, Pen Conflict 2. It's a great reel, lightweight. I think this is Pen's lightest reel on their, uh, on their uh, team or their arsenal. But yeah, it's great. You know, you can pull in big fish with it. You know, you can horse them in, you can play them, whatever, whatever you want to do with this setup. But uh, if you have ever messaged me, <laughs> you guys know that I recommend the Tsunami Trophy 2 8 foot medium heavy with the Conflict 4000. So that's these rods, I'll show you the action. So before we go any further, I'm doing this type of video instead of like actually fishing because you guys have, I, my DMs are blowing up, whether it's a Facebook, YouTube, comment section, uh, DMs on Instagram, on both my accounts, all my accounts really. It's just like, what rod or reel do you use? Uh, there's so many questions. I'm going to be doing more videos like this because I, I just can't keep answering all these questions every single day. Uh, dozens every single day. So I'll just leave you guys with these videos and I hope, I hope they help you. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. But with that being said, if you have more questions about anything else, leave them in here and I'll post another video answering questions as well. But let's go show you guys the action of these rods. What's up guys? We are here in the backyard. We got the rods. I talked about them briefly but I'm going to show you the action of every single rod that I talked about. Right now I've got the Pen Prevail, nine foot, medium, heavy, fast action. And we're gonna show you this action. I got a five pound weight at the bottom. So this is basically just gonna show you what a five pound fish would be like. I don't wanna put anything more, but you can see the action, where it bends, pulling up that five pound weight. So it's not all in the tip. It's uh, basically evenly dispersed, and you can feel it in the handle up here. So that's that's pretty cool. I got the Saltex 30 pound uh, braid on it. That's that action. This is one of my favorite rods, especially for jetty fishing because you can do this and it's not going to snap. So you can pull up a big fish off that jetty. All right, there's that. Let's switch rods. All right, so we're putting on this five pound weight onto my eight foot medium. Heavy action. I'm not gonna pull it all the way up because this may snap. It's it's an eight foot. It's not it's not like the best to be pulling up a five pound weight. But as you can see, all that action right there. A lot of that right in the middle section. 
The 70-30 is great action compared to a 50-50. So all that pressure is coming right here and you're getting all that action there. So let's see if I can pull it off. So there you go. That's the action of the eight foot Trophy 2. Medium heavy. It honestly feels really great in the hands too. Like it's not crazy, it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap. But there's that. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. It's definitely something a little bit different from our cinematic storytelling videos. Uh, I have been getting a lot of these questions about the rod and reels and I have a lot more questions that I haven't answered yet. But we'll do more videos like that. If you enjoyed a video like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and uh, you'll be able to get notified whenever we get more videos up for you. Uh, hit that bell notification, it'll definitely help you guys get notified. And uh, if you guys are still watching and have been subscribed, thank you so much. We're over 10,000 subscribers and uh, we got some pretty cool things coming for you, including merch, giveaways, and a bunch more really cool videos. So thank you all for watching. Again, if you like to give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and comment below what you want to see next in our, whether it be fishing videos or description videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. I'll see you next time.